So me and trench coats mean I'm all dressed as shit. My brother got me a mixology kit that was just supposed to be a one-off. And it was really sweet of him. And I can't stop mixing with it. I have a lot of problems. Like, a lot of problems. Like, millions of problems, my good bitch. I was thinking, you're like four. I reached a maturity quota and status nogari in my country. I'm allowed to drink and the only problem is I'm not allowed to drive period. But I'm allowed to drink, so I'm not breaking a quota. Okay? I found my blonde wig. It's kind of cool. That's my blonde wig. And it's like, what is up with my history, you know? Why do you wear a tavern shirt like every other day? Are you Taurus from Homestead? Because kids don't wear Zodiac shirts in those colors. It's why they're the colors in the comic. I'm a time traveler named John Pond that's been scientifically proven since the 40s. I was not the first documented time traveler. Adam Snowflake was and Booster Gold after him. Big problem. I was in the same breath because I'm Adam Snowflake. I'm Adam Snowflake, and that is technically, if you look up 40s documents, the cell library, time vortex, history, you will find a document that says the history of ours, story, anthems, and on it is the proof of the world's first ever time traveler, Adam Snowflake. Even if you don't believe that, bitmaps exist, and bitmaps can capture your imagination or persona, and I have a split personality. And I'm allowed to claim that because I'm the first ever case of it called multiple personality disorder. Multiple personality disorder is not DID or OSTD-1 on multiplicity. Those things can be comorbid. They all start as DID and change into what they are, including kinships or mood sets or moodlets. But none of it is multiple personality disorder where those terms are positive and never a slur. I have multiple personality disorder. The name I was diagnosed under was Sybil. But Adam Snowflake was technically 10 pages before that as patient zero. I'm the first and zero patient. But different personalities, so who cares? A personality is who you are, your soul, your heart, your mind, your gender, and everything about you. The history, though, is that not only my different genders that are all male over time, I have different things that have happened to me and bad stuff that caused my personality to split into multiple versions of it. So I became different people over time so drastically I didn't recognize myself on tape. And I have a face that looks different with different haircuts. And so the difference... <sighs> the, the story of that is that it kind of went down and became my multiple personality disorder. Most, most people have one soul and one mind and one heart. Some people have too many and they interact as a result because it's both in your body and they're different people. Why wouldn't they be able to talk to each other? And they'd be aware of each other at some point. So I have multiple people I am in my brain. The problem is I'm integrated. I am integrated. I should never be integrated. Because integration for multiple personality disorder is not a cure, it's a symptom of something wrong. For DID, sometimes, no. Multiplicity, yes. OSCD-2, yes. Multiple personality disorder, no. Um, DID, sometimes. Uh, moodlets, never. Kinships, no way in hell, but you need to understand the history of what you think a canon is. 
and the history of having different personalities and all these different groups of OSC-1, moodlets and mood swings, um, which can be connected to bipolar, which is what Aftershocks is about. Kinships is a form of multiplicity, it just should never be in the same group as DID. DID, uh, multiplicity, um, multiple personality disorder does shapeshift the face. The problem with it is kind of that, in general, it just shapeshifts the features of the face. And the history of multiple personality disorder is you have to have had trips or giant experiences to change you into the different personas. I am just about out of them. So I've gone back and done all of them just a little bit, including Chase, including like, including Serenity and Amanda. And so because of all of that, my Amanda is just gender fluid, not a demi girl, but I am, my dad is also Amanda and had a different life and we're have resides, which is sharing half your mind with another person due to a disorder of your genes or relating an empathy too hard, like loving them and relating to their story too hard. You can share half a brain with that or you can cause it through OCD rituals, which you shouldn't do black magic to have someone else's heart. Don't do that. Um, but I do approve. I just don't agree with it. Um, and in general, this, 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 and this. And Arkansas is an aging disorder where some you skip around your age, like Benjamin Button disease. One day you're five, the next day you're seven, the next day you're two, and you're just going to age out of order till you hit four and you're four forever, kid. Except I get stuck at seven forever and I'm tall, so I'm mentally 16. Just about forever. And that's my history with Arkansas. It's a youth disorder where you age like a spider because someone on your family tree once fucked around with them too hard. And the history of Arkans is that you skip around your ages, no matter how mature you are, and then you're suddenly the age you're supposed to be for, for forever, and then you die aging rapidly out of it, or getting too many like folds and wrinkles out of it, or seeing too mature and having older features, but staying young, which can turn into Benjamin Button disease, which is all about that. But usually it won't be that. And I have Arkansans or Arkans, which is a form of Parker's related to that because it does affect balance, the legs and the tall and height. So it's a form of Parker's. It's like a disorder or a syndrome. People can just have a problem with their body. No one else has called a mutation or an age thing. So split personality is like that, but with your mind and you just have multiple minds and you switch between them and they're very different because they're different people's minds in yours. And sometimes you can have a copy of what you think someone's like. Um, yeah, but all introjects are technically real resides with it. So you really do have that person split possibly if you ever have an introject. I know so because lots of kids and people have introjects of me. You do need permission to form one. And the history is my interjects. I remember what I do in other people's heads, especially Mia Carter and Jason Dean. I remember what I've done in your head. How is that possible? You have resides with me as your interject. I remember the chocolate and the weird soda. Only you would know that. But the history is I was in your head as an altar, so I do, because I've lived that long. Anemia is an ability to die or a bone symptom with your arms and I'm drunk explaining all this which is why I seem so sane um and it's like how you age and how you stay the same and how your blood works and iron and keeping it all together too much anemia you stay the same forever youth disorder you don't age combine the two which is rare you stay around forever probably need comas every few centuries like Walt Disney did and it can be preserved through ice and cold things and you exist you just fucking exist. I feel so tipsy. Everyone's like, you're four. I have passed the Bachel test and doctors say I'm illegally able to drink even on bad medicine because I had to be experimented on and tested for Arkin's diagnoses and insanity diagnoses. Insanity is a diagnosis. It's not just like an umbrella term for mental illness being cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And Sandy is a real disorder and I do have it. It just means you notice everything around you, you connect the dots and you're bullshit at explaining it unless high or drunk. So I got drunk to explain. The problem is if you have insanity as a diagnosis or gullible as a diagnosis, you can be really young and drink and never have a problem with your brain as a result. 
but you might actually blame the alcohol for it. Same with hard drugs. If you have insanity or gullible, real disorders people think are extinct, you can have those things and nothing will be wrong with you. <laughs> Um, drinking underage or doing hard drugs like heroin and you won't ever be addicted but you might identify with addiction because everyone's gonna assume that because you're unstable already <gasps> because you have insanity the disorder okay and so you might just say oh I'm an addict but no you might you just will probably if you have insanity or gullible extreme OCD which people link to addiction, period. The history, though, is that you cannot be an addict if you have insanity or gullibility. If you have Down syndrome, you can be overly addicted to things. And halfway, after a certain point, you may outgrow your Down syndrome if you do hard drugs. Retardation can't be cured by learning other cultures and languages. It'll just make you very confused with your gender. If you're like, well, that's worth my son not talking like this. One, you're an ableist asset or a very concerned parent. And two, yeah, your son will outgrow that voice and probably even pride in doing their brows that way if you introduce them to other cultures, but that's gonna fuck up their gender so hard they have multiple ethnicities. If you're like, it is worth helping my kid, they can't even hold a pencil, fine. It might turn into a different disorder though, but it won't ever be the problem that retardation or autism was for your child. You can outgrow both of them. Not if you have a youth disorder or anemia though. And I have both and that's why I had to get drunk to explain it because you seem really manic if you try to explain these things with insanity. But here's the thing, I don't usually have insanity. The history is I have omophonionis, which my Mimi has anaphonicana, which is mental versions of this, mentally crippled like this. But omophonionis means you have different syndromes, right down to mermaid syndrome or down syndrome, heightened or lowered, uh, different mental disabilities and different disorders over time and it mutates into them based on environments. These are all real disorders. Please go to dsm.com slash criteria list dash 2017 reveals. We found the DSM-0. These are all in the DSM-0 and old versions of disorders are separate to the new versions under new names. We discovered so much when I found my old computer online crazy schizophrenic as Apollo Vantes. Don't worry. I found a lot of things studying cancer. <laughs> and that's how insanity comes across. It comes across like, <laughs> and the history is like, no, you're just crazy. And it's good that you're crazy. It's good you can even drink underage. But you don't know if whiskey's in this because I didn't show you. I'm just pretending for all you know. I have the legal standings of an adult, so you can't say I can't drink it because my meds say that I can because I've studied them and I take them in the proper dosages. My doctor didn't say I couldn't drink. So yeah, no, um, you can just have different disorders and they work very differently. Like that's a thing. And you can also have Uka or Adam Song. Adam Song is worse than Omophonionis because it changes into crippling versions of those same disorders to the degree of suicidal ideation at the extremes of them and always results in a genuine mutation that the group of Adam Song has at the time for kids who have Adam Song. The problem with Adam Song as a disorder and um, Hellraisers as a disorder is not that Hellraisers makes you like Satan too much as to why it's called that, or dark red black things, and that you can only wear it in your clothes change color like magic when you have it, or that Scylla Deceit causes you to be able to literally shape shift objects around you as a creepy mutation causing matter from your hands. The problem with Adam Song is it makes you extremely bad, crippling versions of all those other things. I have Adam Song and Omophonionis, which means I have all disorders ever, and sometimes I even get reborn to different families as Larkins, even Mermaid Syndrome, and I fucking have the problem of Adam Song, so it's extremely crippling in ways Omophonionis never is. And Omophoniaka, what my Mimi has, is mentally identifying us with disorders when you don't have them. Take care of yourself and take care of your mental health. Sincerely, Apollo Vantis. I have a medical degree. Bye!